we can go. We're almost packed. We can leave tonight. Laura. It was an accident. Okay? Was it? Brian. I didn't know you made house calls. Yeah, you've missed three visits. Is everything okay? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. We've been uh, just crazy busy the last couple of weeks. So busy you don't answer the phone? It worries me when you don't check in. Hey, look, I tell her to go to her sessions, but she doesn't take orders from me. Well, what do you think? Are things better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, we've just been really busy. You know, well, we're moving. <laughs> Hi, Laura, how are you? Hello, doctor. What are you doing here? Well, Annabelle's preschool called. They said she hasn't been there for four weeks. We've been calling. C can I come in? Yeah, come on in. Sure. How are you doing? I see you've lost a little weight. Well, she has her good days and her bad days. Are you taking your meds? Laura, you know those will help with the anxiety, and if you need more, all you have to do is come visit. I don't see you enough. Is Annabelle home? You know what? Maybe this isn't the best time. Because well, we're moving, and we need to keep packing, and, uh, like, She's with, with the... Brian's parents. We let the school know a month ago. Oh, that's great. I'll just need to see her. Well, Brian's parents live in Florida, but by all means, drive down. Florida? That's right. And the child's been there for the duration? The child? Hey, take it easy. Look, if something's happened, or if you two are in some kind of trouble... Well, we're not in any trouble, so thanks for stopping by, okay? You think I'm gonna have some sort of meltdown and cry my eyes out? Is that it? Why they send you? Why not just a courtesy call? Hello, Sergeant. Is your daughter dead? Press one for yes and two for no. Click. What about these? Do that yourself?
I stare at files all day. I, mostly men. I read about the horrible things they've been through and horrible things some of them have done. And then I come across your file and somehow I see myself. It's the hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> I could never do what you do, Laura. Anna's in the hospital. Orlando Presbyterian, that's where her grandparents are. Brian thought they were better equipped to take care of her, and they are. He can barely afford the move, much less the hospital bills. There was an accident. After so many months of not being able to hold her, or see her, or touch her, smell her sweetness. A few weeks ago, I was alone with her. I held her so tight. I squeezed her for every moment that I was gone. I couldn't feel her pushing against me. I couldn't feel her nails digging into me. I just wanted to make her a part of me. And then Brian, he had no idea what was happening. He thought we were playing, that I was punishing her. And then he saw. Saw what? Saw what, Laura? I couldn't control myself. He called my name and I couldn't hear. He struggled to pry her from me until he had to push against me here. She fell between us and she hit the floor. It was an accident. You're gonna need help, Laura. Laura, if I report this officially, they will force your daughter back. And everyone will see on his face and they'll all think that I'm one of those out of control soldiers with PTSD. You are one of those soldiers. Go ahead then. I'll go on trial. Yeah. No, I deserve it, don't I? That's not going to happen. Will she be OK? What listing? Uh, Orlando Presbyterian Hospital, Orlando, Florida. One moment while I look for that number. I have Presbyterian Hospital, School of Nursing in Orlando. I have Orlando Hospital and Orlando Medical Center, but no Presbyterian. Really? Are you sure no alternate version of that name? The closest Presbyterian is in Miami-Dade, but it's a research clinic. Would you like me to connect you? 